Bye guys. Are y'all ready for lower body? I don't know if you are. I don't know if I am, but we're gonna do it. Today's theme is lower body. It is body weight only. I thought about adding in a mini band. Um, so you can add it if you want to for some of the moves, but I figured not everyone has access to that just yet, or you know, maybe next week is what I'm trying to get at. We did it last week, maybe next week. Find your space, find your mat. Let's start in our tabletop position, waking up our spine. So shoulders over wrists, knees and your hips. Drop your belly down to the ground, and then push your spine up to the sky. Nice and slow. You don't have to find your full range of motion here just yet. We're just slowly starting to wake up our spine, wake up our bellies. <sighs> Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you push up. Give a little lateral twist here, side to side. Looking at your back foot each time if you can. All right. Pop it up into a high plank. Walk your hands into your feet. Hang out at the bottom here. Just let your head hang heavy. Grab on the opposite elbow. Kind of swing side to side if you want. Shimmy at your shoulders if you want. Just move your body. Move your body. All the way up to standing, reach up nice and tall. All the way down, walk it out into your high plank. Bring your right foot outside of your right hand. It's lower body day. We're gonna do our world's greatest stretch here, you guys. I'm gonna get our legs pumping, our hips open. Rock forward and back if you want to. And then through center, twist and turn towards that bent knee. Big inhale, and on your exhale, return that hand. Drop your back knee down to the ground. Place your back of your foot on the ground, or the top of your foot, rather, and then send your hips back. Open up that hamstring. Kind of point and flush that toe if you want to. And then walk it back forward. Lift back that knee up. Replace your foot, and then same thing, other side. Next big stretch, making sure that heel is in the ground. Forward and back. And then twist and turn towards through center. Drop your hand, drop your back knee, foot flat on the ground, and send your hips back. Walking it forward, do it one more time on each side on your own. Right foot comes out around your right hand. And drop your right elbow if you'd like to. Mm. <sighs> Oop. And then make sure to drop your back knee. I almost forgot it. I almost forgot. Bring into those hamstrings we're going to be using it today, so you can make sure they're nice and warmed up. start to move and wake up throughout this movement, throughout the warm-up. Things just have to flow a little bit easier as your muscles get warm. Start to stretch it out. Okay, return to that high plank whenever you're ready. Send your hips back into a downward dog and then back into a high plank. We're going to go through this move a few times. Back into a downward dog and then up into a high plank. Making sure when you're in that high plank, you're squeezing your butt cheeks. You're tucking your hips underneath your body. You can pull out your legs if you'd like to. Three, two, and one. Walk your hands back with your feet. Stand up nice and tall. Shoulders back and down. And then from here, just start to go into body weight squats. Feet outside your hips distance just a little bit. Down and up. to reverse 
reverse lunges right and left. My butt is really sore, you guys. Makes me a little, a little nervous for the workout. Not nervous, just like, damn, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt, you know? Which I'm sure maybe some of you are on the same level as me right now. But we planned it, it's here, we're gonna take it on, take it head on. Three, two, and rest. Legs out nice and wide. We're gonna go to that lateral lunge so your toes are facing forward. Just sit back and down into that hip, back through center, same thing other side, back through center. So we're gonna open up the inside of that opposite leg, sending your hips back. Like I said, if you want to do any more stretching, any more warming up, you can do that as I go over this. But let's see what we have on the agenda. So there's three different rounds, each composed of an A and a B exercise. For the A exercise, you're on 45 seconds, 15 off. B exercise, same exact thing. And then you're going to do that whole thing five rounds. So it's about a 12 minute set. And then we'll rest for about 60 seconds between the rounds. So in total, it's about a 35 minute set. So it's a little bit longer than the previous, than yesterday's, but you have a little bit extra rest time. So round number one is an isometric split lunge. All we're doing for 45 seconds is holding on one leg forward, one leg back, nice low split lunge, holding here for 45 seconds. We'll rest for 15. Exercise B is an alternating split lunge jump plus a knee drive. So when every leg was working, see my right leg was um, in front, I'm doing a split lunge and then driving my knee. Split lunge and then driving my knee. Same with that one single side for the A and B. And then on the next round, we'll switch over to the left hand side. Isometric on the left and that split lunge with that knee drive on the left. Cool. Round number two is a crab hip thrust to reverse plank for exercise A. So on this one, 
In the warm up, we kept our hips pretty low. They were off the ground, but they were low. On this one, I really want you to emphasize lifting into a tabletop position. And then from here, that's your crab hip thrust all the way up. I walk my feet out, walk them back in, and I lower down to the ground. Walk them up, out, in, and all the way down. The entire posterior, your chain of your body should light up. Your hamstrings are going to light up. You're really going to feel that one. If the walking out to the reverse plank is too much, just keep it with the crab hip thrust. Just making sure you're trying to get your hips as level and square as possible with your chest the whole time. B exercise is a standing superman. So this one is a single sided exercise. So odd rounds will focus on one leg, even rounds will focus on the other. If I have one leg on the ground, it's a slight bend in that knee. I'm gonna hinge into my deadlift position. I'm gonna reach my arms out overhead. I'm gonna tap my knee through center and then reach back overhead. Tap my knee and reach back overhead. It's really just an isometric hold for that deadlift, for that hamstring, but you're getting a little bit extra movement, extra balance and forward by moving that foot forward and back. Odd round, you'll work one side, even rounds the other. Last round is a kneeling lean to squat jump for A. On this one, I'll show you a little bit more sideways. You're gonna lean back, working those quads as far as you can go back. Once you come back up through center, you're gonna walk it up, jump, walk it down, lean nice and slow, come back through center, walk it up, jump, walk it down. You can modify, just take out the jump completely and just go into a standing position. Cool? And then B is a rotational squat plus a jack. So we're gonna open up those hips. You're gonna rotate right, rotate left. You're gonna hop through center into right back low into that squat. Rotate right, rotate left, tap through center, sit nice and low. Immediately your inner thighs are gonna start to wake up. Your hips are gonna find that rotation. Heart rate's gonna be elevated. So I tried to do a little more of a heavier, slow pace movement, coupled with that little bit more higher intensity for each of these rounds. Cool? So we'll stick to round number one. It's an ISO split lunge plus that alternating split lunge jump plus a knee drive. I said five round or five times. This is a typo on my computer. It's six times because an isometric, or if you're doing a single side movement, you need to do it an even number of times. Otherwise, one side gets more love and we just don't need that to be a thing. So keep that in mind. My bad, my bad. Yes, V, there you go. I addressed it, I addressed it. So it's six rounds each. The timing in my head, oop, let me just, it's a little fuzzy over there. So it's six rounds each, six times each round, okay? So you're hitting each leg six, three times. Odds right, evens left if it's anything single-sided, okay? So we're gonna start with the ISO split lunge. Ooh, ooh. Five, four, right leg in front. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice little hold. From here, my knee is hovering over the ground. I have two 90 degree bends. My hips push back. So my knee is over my ankle. 45 seconds here, 15 seconds of rest. Dry fed heel, be able to wiggle those toes in this low lunge. Turn 
Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Same thing, other side. Three, two, one, nice and low. Nice and low, left glute on, left heel driving to the ground, wiggling my toes, hips push back. Try to sit a little bit lower. Last 10.
two, one, rest. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Remember that modification, you just take out the jump and just go straight into the reverse line with the knee drive. Three, 
two, one, rest. Sixty seconds of rest. Remember, round two, move to move A is going to be that hip thrust to a reverse plank. Walk it out, walk it in, right back down. Your wheel sits up. Thirty seconds. I'm gonna. I need to try to be. I was getting to the groove of the descent. Rotational squat. I'm sorry, I'm going crazy. It's Friday. Low squat, reverse, or turn right, turn left, jack through center, sit back down. Reverse, reverse, jack through center, sit. That jump through center can be modified by just standing up through center. So you can do a break and then right back down. Here's that low squat. Let's go in five, on the ground. Crab press to walk out, reverse plank. Three, two, one. Lift those hips. Squeeze your booty. Lower, lift. Remember, modification, you can just stay with that hip thrust down and up. Slow control is the name of the game here. Ten. Three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall. I'm going to do these over here, so it's going to back when I get my way. Three, two, one, nice and low. Twist, twist, jack. Sit low, twist, twist, and jack. Notice my back heel lifts every time I rotate, and my chest moves with that, so now I'm going to side lunge. Less than 10. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Anybody else with the inner thighs burn? My inner thighs are burning on that one. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift, walk it out, walk it in. Man, you know 
know, what happened to Kid Cudi? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Great song though. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, you're trying to keep your hips as tall as possible. We're just going into a hip rest here. Trying to extend a pretty nice flat surface. Less than 10. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. I'm just trying to move this. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Last 10 here. Last 10. Hips back, chest up. Three, two, rest. Woo! Almost there. Big deep breath. Three, two, one, hips. Only two more times with this move.
How are you doing? How are you feeling? We're good? Virtual thumbs up. Virtual high five. Three, two, one. Let's go. Low, twist, twist, jack.
Let's go. Lean nice and slow. Pull back. Jump. Remember, we're going to stay right here.
and one. Nice little hinge, arms out, me in. That moving leg is honestly just a placeholder. You should really feel the work in that standing leg. Make sure you go slight bend in that knee. Don't lock out that knee. It's also going to help you if you have a slight bend with that balance.
working your core on this one, working the fronts of those legs, working that explosiveness, that functionality with those hips as you step up. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Whew. All right. Oh yeah, sweat is real, sweat is happening. It has to on lower body day, right? Yo, that was it. Nice little burn, good mix of slow intensity, good mix of a little bit higher intensity. So I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. And uh, that's about it. Let's stretch for a little bit, and then we'll get going. That'll let you go on with your day. So find some space. I don't know why you keep saying that. You guys have all the space in the world, don't you, at your house or your apartment? So. From here, legs nice and wide. Drop into a low sumo position. And then from here, you can just kind of swing your hips side to side. Open up those hips. If this is not enough of a stretch, you can go down into that frogger position. Same thing, swing side to side. If you're in that frogger, try to keep your heels on the ground as much as possible. And your back nice and flat. From here, walk your feet in, so they're just underneath your hips. Send your booty up to the sky. Keep your arm nice and long, head heavy, and just swivel side to side. Slowly roll up to standing. Grab onto your right foot. Let's stretch out that right quad, pushing your hips forward. On this stretch, you guys, I'm just hanging out here. I want you to be kind of active with it. So bend, slight bend in that knee. Your hips, if they're back here, push everything forward. Squeezing your glute, tucking your hip underneath your body to really feel stretch down in front of that leg. Shake it out, save the other side. Hips go forward, knee point straight down. Squeeze your booty. Stretch out that quad, that hip flexor. Shake it out. Well, that's it. Congratulations. You did it. I'm a freaking tomato mess right now. I hope you guys are too. We're all in this together. For me, waking up in the morning, working out is my habit. It's my routine. I love doing it because it sets my entire day off with a great start. It puts me in a really good mood. Um, so that's just about that. So take it as you will. Do you, what you need to do to stay productive, to stay safe, to stay healthy during these, these times. And I appreciate you guys so much. If you're on YouTube watching this, you can follow me at Spin City on Instagram. I do these lives Monday through Friday at 6.30, Saturdays at 7.30. Glad you guys loved it. Thank you for joining as always. Enjoy your day. Love you so much. Bye, y'all.